Well, hi. Well, hi. <sighs> Welcome to vlog number, what is this, four, three? It should be four, <laughs> but I'm sorry. It's we three. We had another blizzard in March. Yeah. Had another blizzard last week, so I got stuck at work again <laughs> for the set, like two blizzards in a row, I'm stuck at work. But anyway, so what have we got going on this week? So this week the these chairs went up the video yeah. for those They're all done. We're sitting on them. Yeah, they're awesome. They look great. They match uh, Well, they don't they don't really match so wood with the UV rays from the Sun because our sliding glass door is right there UV rays from the Sun change the color of wood sometimes so since the Sun has been beating down on this table for a few months the chair seats don't quite match. They're a little light. This is a little uh, like yellow. A little, yeah, little yeah, yeah. More of like a reddish. Yellow. So with time, it'll all even out, and it'll look it'll look great. But what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna put up the video of the teddy bear display case that we made for that client. So those videos should be going up next week, and then after that, we have some palette projects while we're working on the built-in downstairs. So be looking out for those. Those are gonna be pretty exciting. Jenny's doing. Most of the heavy lifting on those, so. All pallets all the time. Um, we've gotten a lot of feedback saying you want to see more of her than you want to see of me, which is totally fine, I get it. Wow. <laughs> you don't have to be very intelligent to know why people want to see you over me. <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what we've got going on in the next couple of weeks while we're working on the built-in downstairs, and that's just going to be, it's going to be a long project. Mm -hmm. It's going to be several videos. I've got a week of vacation time I'm going to take to build this. All right, it's time for Tool Time with Dave Please Jenny. stop, you look horribly awkward. That's kind of the point. Oh my goodness. This week, we're gonna go over the most hated tool in our shop. This little yeah. guy, we give him so much hate. So this was the first saw that we got. We did drills last time. That was the first tool we ever bought, but this is the first saw we ever bought, was this circular saw. So how a circular saw works is you got this motor here that spins and it's connected to a blade and the blade spins. And the thing about this is that it spins backwards. So uh, what that does is when you're pushing it along a piece of wood, but it, it wants to pull that wood up because the teeth are spinning from the underside to the top side. So it really kind of holds it securely. It's really hard for a circular saw to kind of get away from you. Mm -hmm. The only time, so there is somebody I know who was holding a piece of wood and her hand, I don't know the details, but her hand went under it and it like slipped and she, she cut her hand plumb off. They like put it on ice, they rushed her to the hospital. They were able to sew her hand back on and everything. I mean, she seemed, seemed like she had full dexterity yeah. in her hand again, No, but not something I'd like to go through. So just use saw horses, brace it really well. Mm -hmm. uh, w one thing that I really want to do is I want to get, I've seen guys, they get a big old piece of like foam insulation hmm. and then, you know, the pink stuff that you see at the Home Depot or whatever. And they'll lay that down because it comes in a big four by eight sheet and then they'll put their plywood on top of it. And they'll set the blade just a little bit deeper than the piece of plywood and they'll just cut right into that foam. And I've seen guys keep the same piece of foam for two or three years just making cuts on it like that and it just stacks up against the wall. So that's a really super secure way and that way the, the blade is buried in that insulation and there's no way it can get away from you. Circular <laughs> saws are great all around tools but they don't I don't know. I don't find that I get a lot of precision. Now this is the cheapest one. I bought this one on clearance. This was like the older mod. This was the older model, and it was the last one in the store. This was the display uh, sitting on the shelf at the store, and I got it for like twelve bucks or something like that because they couldn't find the box. It was missing a couple <laughs> wrenches, no manual, and so I got it for like twelve or thirteen bucks. So. Can't complain about that. Anyway, it's really, the thing that bothers me is the base. If it had a wider base, I think it would be a little bit better, but I just can't, I can't rely on it to make a, a perfectly straight cut. So that's why it really doesn't get used. We usually just like, I don't know, we use it for bulk cuts sometimes if it's like too awkward to put on the table saw. The thing we use this for the most is when we need to cut something really big that won't fit on our table saw. I've only got like a 32, 33 inch, if I really push it, capacity on my table saw. And if we need anything longer, 
or in one or both dimensions than that, like think of like a big back panel to a piece of furniture or something like that. Then that's what we use this for to trim it down to size. And we use the, the door board. I'll link a video in the description. Um, there's a bunch of guys. I think the one I'm going to link to is DIY Tyler. He does a really good video on how to make a, a track for just any old circular saw. And it works, but it's just not the most accurate thing in the world. And then this is a pretty cheap saw, so it just kind of feeds into itself. But definitely, it does the job. It's not, obviously, I'm not going to go replace it, but we recommend a jigsaw if you're not going to use plywood. But if you ever step up and decide, okay, maybe I'll try a half sheet of plywood or I'll get a full sheet of plywood one day, definitely get one of these because a jigsaw is just not going to cut it. Well, it'll cut it, but you know what I mean. I hate puns. Puns are the lowest form of humor. So if I ever make a pun, it's not on purpose. If you're watching this right now, go ahead and leave a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see. We This is kind of a, just a new format for us, yeah. so we're still getting used to it. If there's something that you want us to cover or more detail or how to use a tool, let us know. We'll try to work it into the vlog any way we can. I mean, this channel is for you. So anything that we can do to help you guys out, please let us know. Yeah. That's all we got for Tool Time with Dave and Jenny this week. We're kind of pressed for time. See you later. Bye.